<laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. And if I'm honest, so am I. Over 100,000 shares, million of likes across Twitter, Reddit, TikTok, and Instagram, leading all people wanting to know that why have I got a twin brother in the United States called Kyle? Well, I guess I accidentally became a viral parody and this is that story. If you haven't figured out already, I am not an American called Kyle. My name is Nick, I'm British, and you might know me from this viral article. Which starts off as an article from The Telegraph Money, which goes, Kyle 28 has already paid off his student loans, owns his own home, and is prepared to retire at the age of 40. Managing your spending is difficult, he says, but if I can do it, anyone can. Learn how he did it with this lovely picture of the so-called Kyle. I'll leave the second part of the article for later, but let me give you a warning. If you're particularly gullible, and believe me, many people were, then you'd be very triggered by this. If you do see this article being shared in the future, which it likely will, then it'd be great if you could share this video so people can calm down and stop asking me why I'm Kyle. So how did I get into this mess? When a well-connected friend mentioned that they were aware that a national newspaper were looking for people who were willing to openly talk about their finances, I thought I couldn't be any better place for the job. I already openly talk about my finances, I have a financial plan, and most importantly, I thought it'd be good exposure for my YouTube channel. So I gave my friend my email to pass on and I quickly forgot about it. Skip forward a month and while arranging a time and a place to conduct an interview with iNews, my new contact said they had been contacted by another journalist from The Telegraph who were planning a three-part series focusing on everyday people working towards a financial independence and the rest is really history. I had a pleasant interview with a journalist called Jessica Beard and they sent around a local photographer to get my photo for the article. When the photographer came over, they actually originally wanted a photo of me in my garden as this might convey early retirement. But if I'm honest, my garden was a complete mess and I knew my missus would absolutely kill me if I splashed that all over a national newspaper. So I suggested we go down to the park with my dog to get a photo there. So to prove that photo is actually me and not my long distance twin called Kyle, let me go recreate that photo. Right, it's a bit of a branch in the way, but let's see if we can do this. There we go, put my arms like that, head this way. Look familiar? And that was it really. September passed and there was nothing, but then all of a sudden I got a message from a friend saying they'd seen me in the Telegraph. And there I was in all my glory, me and Barney absolutely rocking it. The initial reception to the article was let's say mixed, if not slightly negative. I actually did a video responding to some of these comments, kind of mean tweet style, which I'll link at the end of this video. But then a few days later, I got this Facebook message from somebody I go to the gym with who's never messaged me before. So I clicked on the link that he sent me and there I was on an article all about a guy called Kyle. 28. If I'm completely honest, I naively thought that the Telegraph had mistakenly used my photo for another article. I laughed at the mistake and then just forgot about it. But then over the next 12 hours, I kept on getting more and more people asking me the same sort of question and the article was being shared in lots of different places. It's only when my sister-in-law highlighted that the article was starting to gain a lot of traction and that actually on closer inspection, she thought it might be parody. I looked closer. After going past the introduction of Kyle being 28 and saying he's going to retire early, it then read the following in the remainder part of the article. It reads, Kyle started saving as soon as he got his first job, senior project manager at a hedge fund run by his father. He made quarter of a million dollars per year and immediately deposited 25% into his savings. To save money in housing, he lived in his grandfather's empty vacation home in Monterey for a few years to build up his savings. Rather than borrow for a mortgage on his house, he used savings and a $500,000 gift from his uncle to purchase his first home. It was tempting to spend, says Kyle, about his postgraduate years. My friends would send me photos of vacations from Italy or Japan, but I remain committed to only vacationing domestically. So by this point, I completely understand that this isn't a mix-up but a pure parody by poking fun at existing wealthy people saying it's easy and there aren't excuses of basically being poor. I can appreciate good parody when I see it and I think it would be unfair of me to get offended when I actually enjoy other parody. So I enjoyed it for what it was. But what I didn't comprehend was one, how much traction it was actually getting as the original post was getting tens of thousands of likes and reshares. Two, it was being reposted by many other people catching on just the same. And three, most amazingly, People were lapping this up as if it was the truth. The reason I'm actually making this video is this all happened in October, November, 2021. 
and over six months later, it's just been reposted. And if anything, it's got more traction this time round. So now I feel that I need to say something which can easily disprove that this article is indeed fake. Otherwise, it's gonna keep getting reshared and reposted to infinity. It is interesting to know that, that a picture of me really conveys the 1% of nepotism to the extent it causes such outrage. And believe me, there is outrage. We have people like Millie Rich, which I've got to say is quite a hilarious name for somebody who's a little bit outraged about money. But she went on to share the article saying, this pissed me off clean. So she's obviously furious about what Kyle is saying. How could this fake person be so ignorant about his privilege? But then we did have some deep thinkers like Cliss Lonigro by replying, House of three and didn't travel. So how did he spend the remaining 187,000 annually? Whoa, bit of a deep thinker there, Chris. I wonder what Cal really did do with that money. I imagine it's probably spent on PR after the backlash of this article to make sure that he's still got a political career after this. But to top that off, Alex Javensky, PhD, yes, PhD, said, how is his first job senior project manager? Oh, Alex and your big PhD brain. Nothing escapes you and your oversized cortex. In fairness, some people did call out that this was parody and they really didn't understand why people were getting so worked up about it. Capitalix highlighting, ah, Photoshop version's article. Don't do this. Well, sadly, it's far too late for that, mate. But some felt that the parody wasn't actually too far from the truth of the real article. A user with a handle, 4 Hour Target, reshared a synopsis of the original article, which said the following. One, I earned £75,000 a year when I was 30, which is fairly accurate. Two, I lived at home with my parents, which I haven't done for over seven years, but okay. Three, I don't have a girlfriend or a social life. I'll let you be the judge of that for yourself. And lastly, I don't have any children or dependents. Well, I have a cockapoo and that's enough for me right now. Anyway, the moral of the story is don't believe everything you read on the internet. If you want to find out what was actually said in the real article and hear some of the mean comments that I got in response, then you can check them out in this video here. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.